The seven deadly sins cosmology is something that isn't explored enough to definitively say how big it is. This is mainly because the author is ambiguous with his cosmology and we don't have straight up statements saying how big the cosmology is. So this video will just be me giving y'all everything that we know so far and what is more likely to be the case than not. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. There are a total of 8 main dimensions in the 7 Deadly Sins cosmology. So I'll start with the easiest one to go over first, which is known as the Mortal Plane, which is the main universe where the story takes place. Meliodas also calls it Sekai, which quite literally means planet, society, or universe. But based on the context, I would say it's a universe, because Meliodas said Arthur subconsciously recreated the Sekai. And based on that, we can see what Arthur did, and see how the planet wasn't the only thing that was destroyed and recreated otherwise they would be in space fighting Arthur and since society wasn't the only thing that was erased otherwise they would be still fighting on the 8th planet it seems that the only interpretation is to say the universe was reset since if you take away the stuff Arthur was creating, you can see there is a white background, more like a white void. So the mortal plane is more likely a universe than just the planet. And we also see multiple stars in the mortal plane, so it just further supports that the mortal plane is just a regular universe. Another thing that I should point out is that these dimensions are confirmed to be separate from one another by the author listing every dimension at the time that purgatory is separated from, which if all of these dimensions were in the same place, then he wouldn't need to list all of them and the supreme deity refers to them as planes of existences Be gone from this plane. since she tells Meliodas to leave this plane which is only possible if there were other planes of existences we also know that there are spatial barriers between dimensions seeing how Oslo's race is a kind of beast that lives in between the dimension of the mortal plane and the fairy realm. The next dimension to go over is the afterlife, where pure souls go to. This dimension isn't elaborated on, all we know is that it's a spiritual dimension that holds souls, but in this dimension you can look down upon the, the mortal plane and watch those you have left behind continue on their journey of life. We also know that souls in the afterlife are immortal since we know once you physically die your soul doesn't age and only demons and goddesses can destroy the soul. So with that in mind I would say logically speaking the afterlife has to be infinite in size because the afterlife has to be future proof because of the amount of souls going to the afterlife is infinitely increasing the population since we know there are more dimensions other than just the ones we know that have more souls that would go to the afterlife so i would believe that the afterlife is more likely 
infinite in size for future souls, meaning it's a infinite size space-time dimension. Since, again, these dimensions are separate from each other and time does flow in the afterlife. The next dimension to explore is Purgatory. Purgatory is a prison for bad souls. The area of Purgatory is extremely toxic, it's freezing cold and also extremely hot. Space-time is warped in Purgatory and you can only rely on your sixth sense because all of your other senses are useless in Purgatory where even your biology will also change on the physical, spiritual and conceptual level as shown when Meliodas' emotions and Bon and some souls were turned into Purgatory monsters. The size of Purgatory is stated to be infinite in the English translation of a cover page and in the Raws it's more poetic but you can still interpret it as Purgatory being infinite. If a immortal can have a endless adventure in it then it's more than likely infinite. With all that information I would say that Purgatory is more likely a infinite space-time dimension or a universal size space-time. The fourth dimension is the Demon Realm which is the dimension home to demons, impurities and the worst of them the Endura. But later on we come to know that a giant beast known as the Behemoth also lives in the Demon Realm. It's a world that is extremely toxic and is filled by miasma which destroys the mind, body and soul of non-demons. Even the demons can produce this miasma. In this dimension of chaos there are stars, moons and the sun and of course the planet. This dimension is also stated to be eternal which in this case means infinite since this dimension can be destroyed at any given point by someone strong enough. So it can only mean the demon realm is infinite in size. This also means the demon realm is also a infinite size space time dimension and not just a pocket dimension the size of a planet. The fifth dimension is the celestial realm also known as heaven. Not much is known about this realm other than it has a sun since Mael used to be in the celestial realm to protect it when he had his grace 3000 years ago which we know Mael's grace requires the sun to function so bare minimum the celestial realm is solar system in size but if you are me and think it's the same size as the demon realm because the supreme deity is equal to the demon king who created the demon realm also known as Hull and they have some rivalry with each other so you could say it should be the same size but that's purely speculation and has no evidence to support the celestial realm being that big. The sixth dimension is the fairy realm which as you can tell by the name it's the realm for the fairies but in the modern era it's the realm for giants and fairies. Not much is known of this realm other than it's poisonous to humans because of the sweet air. We also know that the fairy tree is so big that it covers the sky and that's why the sky is green because of the leaves. The size of this realm should be the same size of the celestial realm since plants and trees need the sunlight to grow so I can only say it's more likely has a sun in there and since the sacred tree is equal to the demon king you can also speculate that it is as big as the demon realm since 
it would have the energy to do so seeing how king can damage a amped prime demon king and king is using the sacred tree's power but other than that it's just a separate space time pocket dimension like the celestial realm the size of a solar system the seventh dimension is the world beyond which we have zero information on the size of this dimension all we know is that it's a new dimension Lancelot and Jericho were sent to. The 8th dimension known as Camelot, it's a dimension that contains multiple sub-dimensions with these dimensions that have shown to have stars and multiple moons and in the dimension where Gwen lives with her father. In a cover page, Nakaba shows us hundreds if not thousands of stars. There are also portals in Camelot that lead to other sub-dimensions with each one potentially being universal in size, since these sub-dimensions are also called worlds, which we know there are more than just a planet in these sub-dimensions, which means it's more likely a universe than anything else based on what they call it. We also see in a Q&A that the author says some of the sub-dimensions have endless starry skies and some have never-ending daytime, depending on the translations you want to use. So yeah, Camelot could be potentially low multiversal in size, but that's my personal belief based on the information I have right now. There is a statement by Anne where she says some of these sub-dimensions are country in size, but that could just be her talking about the landmass and not the actual dimension containing it. Or you can say it's based on her ignorance since they still don't know the size of Camelot nor how it functions, they're still learning about it. So long story short, the Seven Deadly Sins cosmology is multiversal, or you can say multiversal plus, seeing how some of these dimensions are infinite in size, and they are space-time dimensions which one infinite size space-time universe is equivalent to a infinite number of finite space-time universes. So yeah, tell me what you guys think, and until next time, peace.